Hey, what's up, everybody? Sean Scott here. I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. We have movies at Renovation this month. Hopefully, man, people are coming in with people they have been inviting, handing tickets out, welcoming them as we come into an atmosphere filled with a popcorn smell, with candy, soda. I mean, we're just raising the sugar level in everybody this month. But listen, with that being said, please enjoy this moment as we have our communication team bringing forth some aspects of this movie called the breakthrough um and they're, they're going to bring different aspects of it from the kingdom that's going to be really powerful hey tune in i promise you this is going to bless you make sure you tune in every week it's going to be powerful and we may find ourselves under a situation where we got to have god get us out so let's hear that voice before we go through that 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 situation Amen. uh speak about that uh I know we're in direction driven by faith, but the first word is what? Obedience, right? Mm -hmm. uh, can you give them the definition of that? So obedience is an act or an assistance of obeying, obeying the quality or state of being. But being obedient is a submissive to the restraint or command of authority, willing to obey. Hmm. Uh, so... Well, you can go ahead first, then. Okay, when you look at the word driven, it's operated and moved or controlled by a specific person mm. or a source of power. Now, when we got to go back to this, we got to think about 1 Corinthians 13 and 7. Love never gives up. Mm. No, love never loses faith. It always hopes and endure through every circumstance. So when we look at that word love, Jesus is love. Mm -hmm. So that means he won't give up on us. When others say they're going to give up, mm -hmm. God say other. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, we need to be connected, like he was saying in the word of obedience. If we just get into the word of obedience and learn of his word, his wisdom and his knowledge, he will help us to get through whatever our circumstance may be. So uh, the word obedience is the first word we're going to look at because uh, I want to read the scripture from the NLT, Romans 6 and uh, 16. He said, do you realize that you become the slave of whatever you choose to obey? You can be a slave to sin, which leads to death, or you can choose to obey God which leads to righteous living. So at that time, when the fireman, he heard uh, the still voice, that said, go back. Even he didn't know the voice, but he heard it. See, a lot of times, we don't know how the voice going to come. But at the same time, when we be obedient to, the, to that voice, even though we don't understand yet, you can see, as we continue to look at the movie, you'll find out that he pulled the young man up. See, so if he wouldn't have heard that voice and went back like he said, the boy would still be down there. So a lot of times the Lord began to speak to us in a voice to get our, t our attention. And a lot of times we don't know what that voice is. It didn't happen to, uh, a whole lot of times in the Bible. As you begin to read it, he began to tell uh, the young man to go back to bed because it's the Lord that's talking to you. So a lot of times we don't hear the voice. And a lot of times when we do hear the voice, know that it's the Lord speaking to us. Okay? Amen. Uh, I was thinking about something that uh, Sister April, Pastor April, was talking about the first time, and it was uh, where she was in the room with her son when they said there was nothing else that they could do and mm. she called on the Holy Spirit. Yeah. <clears throat> and because Sister April and I talked about that, I said, Sister April, do you not know that the, the word spirit comes from the word pneuma? Mm -hmm. Where we get the word pneumatic. Who, anybody here know what a pneumatic tool is? I know brother uh, over here is going to raise his hands. Anybody else know what a pneumatic tool is? Okay, I know you know brother Carlos. <laughs> you know, a pneumatic tool all by itself is nothing. It can't do anything. The very moment that you put air to that tool, what happens? It comes alive. Mm -hmm. It begins to serve the purpose from which that tool was made. Come on now. So when that woman was praying, Holy Spirit, yeah. 
bring life. I think she said breathe bring, life. Yes, yes. Breathe, breathe life, life back into yeah, my son. Yeah. Do you not know at that very moment there was a connection? The Holy Spirit, Jesus said he's like the wind. Come on. He connected back with that boy in life. He had a pulse beat. Amen. You know, and so, and not just saying that, I want to say this right here. The, I think we got the scripture Philippians 4 and 6 and 7. Uh, the Bible says, and I'm going to quote the King James Version. It says, to be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. Or supplication, commitment. Mm. Let your requests be made known unto God. Mm. And then it goes on to say, in the peace of God that passes all understanding will keep your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. And that's what that woman had, man. She had a strong resolution that God was going to do everything and anything but fail. We got to have that same resolution. Amen. It was Amen. a prayer of faith. Yeah. So her prayer was a prayer of faith, right? We, how many of y'all got kids? Y'all kids? All right. So you know the cry of your kid, right? Mm. You know when they hungry. You know when they wet. But this was a cry out. We know when there's something wrong with our child, right? They, if they cry just right, as parents, we running to the rescue because we know that cry when our child is in trouble. So when the mother prayed that prayer of faith, not only did she call on Jesus, but she called on the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Come on now, because the Holy Ghost brings life, Amen. right? So God heard that. Now just put up 1 Kings uh, 17, 20, and 22. How many of y'all know the story of the widow woman with the son who they only had, they had a little flour and a little oil, and, and Elijah the prophet wanted them to, you know, want to ask her to break, bake the cake first? Well, a little on in the scripture, the son dies, right? And he begins to get, you know, first before he died, he got worse and worse, right? And then he dies. So 1 Kings 17, 20, and 20, uh, 20 through 22 says this. Then Elijah cried out to the Lord, O oh Lord, my God, why have you brought tragedy to this widow who has opened her home to me, causing her son to die? And he stretched himself out over the child three times. Notice that three times. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And cried out to the Lord, O oh Lord, my God. Please let this child's life return to him. And the Lord heard Elijah's prayer. And the life of the child returned. And he revived. See, that's the type of God that we serve. When we cry just right unto the Lord, he knows our cry. Man, he knows us from the inside and out. He knows our heart. So we have to have a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Thou would not despise. Amen. Let's talk about Amen. it. Amen. Because <laughs> Luke eleven ten 10 Amen. says, For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Amen. So we are here. We're not here just to entertain you. Come on now. In all of this breakthrough, each and every one of them people had a breakthrough. <laughs> I mean, you see, the nurses, we need to call this doctor. You see the doctor. I ain't never seen a case like this. Come on. But <laughs> you seen the mother. What does that mean? Come on. I serve a mighty God. Yeah. <laughs> I serve a mighty God. And we, one of our visions and values we are faith-filled, big-thinking, better-fine risk-takers. <laughs> yeah. We'll never insult God with small thinking and safe living. Amen. In Jesus' name. Also, Proverbs 19 and 16 says, keep the commandments and keep your life. In other words, if you trust God and you believe and you know what he said in his words, and then it said, but despising them leads to death. So if you're not following the commandments and you're not trusting God and you don't have that faith size of a mustard seed, then it will lead to death. But if you trust him, because all sickness ain't unto death. Come on now, come on. Do you hear me what I'm saying? All sickness ain't unto death. 
The doctor may say one thing, but Jesus will show us another Amen. thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because he is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end, and I found out to be he's a healer. Amen. 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 I also like uh, how she reminded that doctor of who he was. Come yeah. on. He was like, sure, and this is the top big wig right here. And now he's saying this over. It's pretty much over. But she said, you know, and it like it clicked in it. You know, I heard you was the, the greatest. They, Come on. They, they, they referred me to you. He said, like, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. And, I, and if anybody can make it, you can have it. Yeah, you're right about that. And I believe that's how we got to go to God sometimes. God, they acting crazy up on this job, but I, I know that you. Huh? God, my, God, my kids ain't acting right, but I heard that you. God, my money ain't right, but I heard that you. And we got to hold God to his word. And I believe when God hears that and he hears talking about him like that, I believe he's just wanting to do something about it. Yeah. Yes. I know my son, there's some things I can't do, but he say I can do them. I believe I can do it. Yeah. And I make myself come up with it. Even if I can't come up with it, I'm going to come up with it because he believe I can. And God got the power to do that. So we got to hold God to his word just like that. Amen. Also, uh, I... I like what he just said, but I want to let y'all know about the prayer and faith of each and every one of us. And I want to read to you James 5, 15 and 16. It says, such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick, and the Lord will make you well. And if you have committed any sins, you will be forgiven. And he said, confess your faults to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. So the Lord letting us know here, as we read this scripture, uh, what make us righteous? Come on. See, that's what we got to look at as we praying, uh, the prayer of faith. What make us righteous is the blood of Jesus. See, that's what the Lord is looking at, but also he's looking at your commitment. Your, he's looking at your faith, how you calling upon him at that time. And I know many of us that called upon the Lord. I called upon the Lord, and I had made a mistake. But when you read your Bible, you find out. I'm going to let y'all search this scripture out. When you get home, search it out. The Lord said he's going to make your mistakes prosper. See what I'm saying? Because your faith, your hope, your confidence, your trust is in him. It ain't in nobody else. So, yeah, Lord, I confess it to you. I made this mistake. But the Lord said, you done made this mistake, but he's still going to make this mistake prosper. Because he see your heart. He know. So, a lot of times, I know we do things that we ain't got no business doing, though. But uh, I'm going to tell you something. The Lord know our heart. He know mistakes we did just to be doing no mistakes Man, we just didn't know. So uh, continue to call on him and pray in faith because he gave us a measure of faith, remember? Amen. 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 You know, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Come on. And so if you notice, the doctor, he never said, he never pronounced the son dead because, you know, and they're going to be like, hey, time of death was, yes. all right? <laughs> but, they, but he never did that, right? He said, we're going to wait. On the mother. He instructed the guy to continue the CPR. But the thing is, is that that's, that's what prayer is about. That's what that prayer is of faith. Not, we don't give up. Come on we now. pray and we don't give up. Amen. In Luke 18, it talks about, come on now. So y'all remember the unjust judge? Yeah, yeah. And the widow that was just worrying the judge. He, yeah. You know, he had no fear for God and no people, nothing, on, none of that. On. But she worried him so much. much. That he had to judge the situation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what was Jesus teaching the disciples right there? Yeah. Pray and don't give, give uh, up. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. And let me uh, <laughs> piggyback off of that. God give us and he gave us this book for a reason. Come on, man. To teach us how to walk mm. in his wisdom mm. and to his conduct and regulate our lives. Mm. This helps us to conform our lives to God's character and his standards. Now, we don't want to be conformed to this devil. Because let me tell you something. When some, like when we have a dinner or something, and Mama P will tell you, uh, I came, I will say, you know, we will have this, this, this dinner menu. And they were like, Sam, would you make uh, the devil eggs? 
And I said, I don't give nothing to the devil. <laughs> I said, no. I said, I tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to have some dress things. Because we're going to dress it up for the Lord. Amen. I call them angel eggs. See, see. Yeah. <laughs> some want to call them other. But see, I told them we're going to dress them up. So how many of you come in here to be dressed up for God? Amen. To put on the whole armor. Yeah. Amen. Mm. So let me go ahead. Oh, yeah. And I want to add that point about that post. Y'all see me? We got a post. <laughs> come on. That's, that's all it took. When, it, when all it come said, on. we got a post. They ain't say we saw him move. He said something. He blinked his eye. <laughs> we just got a post. We heard something. Come on. And that's some of us. Uh, God says, do you have a faith? It's a mustard come seed. Come on. Yeah. That's all he need to see is a little bit of faith. He said, it's weak, but it's <laughs> yeah. there. And all of heaven, everybody in the hospital can work with that liberty pulse. Yeah. So all of heaven can work with yeah. your little bit Amen. of faith. Amen. Come on. Huh? He just need to see a little blip and I can make it happen. Come on now. Hey, so you thought that marriage was over? You thought it was going to end like that? Come on now. I, said, I Come just on. need to see that blip. Yeah. There it go. All of heaven get to work. Come on now. That's it. Come on. So let me propose this, this question to, to you. Listen. Are you allowing your faith to be your your faith to drive your direction? Just think about it. Are you allowing your faith to drive your direction? Mm 